Functions sometimes stump people when they start working with them in programming. They're pretty straightforward and easy to work with. Usually you're going to have a main function, and that's going to be the first function you do, and anything that you're going to do in here you'll list this way. So I'm going to have a main function, and then I'm going to have a def get info function and here I'm going to um, and we have to call it from main you can do this in any order we'll just call it get info and we'll set it equal to a variable so we have a return statement um, name equals get info okay and the function doesn't return anything but we'll fix that all right, so get info. Uh, we're going to have first equals input. Enter your first name. Middle equals input. And that should be a lowercase m. Enter your, that should be in quotes, enter your middle initial, and then we'll have last equals input, enter your last name. And then we can concatenate these into a new variable. So we're going to have full name equals first I can't remember if I need to do strings on these first. First I could look it up or I can just try it. Plus middle plus And so I'm going to have a period after the initial plus last. And we can just test this right here. We're going to do a return full name. That shouldn't have a space. print name. And so we've created a function where we have the main function here that's going to call the get info function and it's going to return this variable. So let's run it. I forgot to call main. So I got to call main and then I can run it. And so it gives me the name. Great. So what if I want to use that information and instead of printing it here, I'm going to pass it to my next function. So I'm going to have um, greeting name. So I'm sending name into my function called greeting. It's giving me an error because that function does not actually exist yet. So we're going to do def greeting name and you can use the same one here I didn't before I honestly think it's a little confusing but it's allowed it's allowed um, some places it's discouraged here it's allowed uh, and so here we're just going to print hello plus name and then we're using that and we can put in our information and so you can see we create the functions we have to call the main function okay 
green check mark. So we created a function. We have the function main, which calls our other functions. We always have to call main for it to work. And we can get info. We can do stuff with that input we get. We're returning it back here. We can, so when we have a variable name, we can set it equal to the returns, equal to a function, which means it's equal to whatever we return from that function. And then we can pass that variable, which is also called a parameter when we're sending it somewhere else, into a new function and do something with it. So that's a really simple way of how functions work.